High quality seeds are critical to crop production. But many developing countries are in the tropics, where seed storage has two enemies, high temperature and air age, the relative humidity of air. For every 1% increase in seed moisture content, seed longevity is in fact halved. Here, in hot Southeast Asia, air age often exceeds 75%. As a result, seeds deteriorate rapidly and can fail to germinate. But a simple technology can increase seed longevity, germination rates and yields for farmers. The drying bead can absorb 30% of their weight which means you know exactly how much the drying bead can absorb. For example, one kg of drying bead can absorb 300 grams of water. And they absorb only water, which means other molecules they not absorb. These drying beads are made of aluminum silicates, a natural clay. They have been developed by the Thai firm Rhino Research, with support from the University of California, Davis, and USAID. It's not high-end stuff, but at least it's practical. That is the simple and straightforward technology. You put the wet seeds. For example, in this case, I put rice. Here, you can see that inside the box, they have a 55% RH. And if you um, add the drying beads, so, and after that, you mix the seed directly with the beads. Leave like this for a few hours and then you can get the seed dry. There are many ways to keep the seed, but we come up with this idea. We put the hygrometer and you can see the temperature, you can see the RH. So, as we know that if you keep the seed below 35% RH, no insect damage, no fungicides, and then the farmer can see immediately if my seed have 55, therefore I need to add drying bead. If you see, okay, 10, and then you can take out. Drying beads hold water in their pores. To check if they are still working, farmers can put a bead on their tongue. If it gets hot and the tongue becomes dry, then the bead is still working. If nothing happens, the beads must be reactivated. You can see. This is done by simply putting them in an oven at 200 degrees for two hours. Then the beads can be used again and again, without any loss. One kilogram of drying beads costs 16 US dollars and allows to dry more than four kilograms of a wet seed like tomato or three kilograms of a dry seed like corn. This price may be too high for a smallholder farmer, but is an affordable investment for cooperatives, seed banks and suppliers. This technology is in fact already used across Asia, from Thailand to Nepal. I think the drying beads has tremendous potential. It is important for the farmers to keep their own seeds because they then don't need to buy from the seed companies every season and they are free to keep their own favorite varieties. You know, I have nothing against a seed company. It, it's a very important part of the development of the horticulture sector in the past 100, 200 years. I think they have done a good job of providing us with better varieties over all these years. But I think the farmers should be able to keep their own seeds and plant their own seeds if they choose to do that.